Hi there. My name is Joe Luckett, and I also was one of the judges in this year's English camp in Hooksay. I think you have heard the judges' decisions and an explanation of why we made those decisions. Now, I would like to take just a few minutes of your time to talk about the future. Where do we go from here? How can you use this experience in your future? I have three pieces of advice. Think outside the box, work on pronunciation, and learn to be storytellers. What do I mean by these things? Well, first, think outside the box. This is an English expression. It means to think in a new and different way. When we are inside the box, we are looking at things in the same way as other people. We are finding the same answers and the same solutions. When we are outside the box, we see things in a new and different way. We can approach a problem, a solution, or a task in a new way and look for a way to be creative. My second piece of advice is work on pronunciation. Many of you had very good pronunciation and it was easy for us to understand. However, some of you were a little bit difficult to understand. And I think to work on pronunciation, the most important thing is to avoid katakana pronunciation of English words. Katakana pronunciation is not used outside of Japan. If you depend on katakana pronunciation for understanding, when you leave Japan, it will be very difficult for you to understand others. If you depend on katakana pronunciation for your own speaking, it will be difficult for, for others to understand you when you leave Japan. So learn the basic sounds of English, the rhythm, the stress, accent, and intonation. You don't need to sound like a native speaker. What's a native speaker? I speak North American English. My friends speak Australian English. Others speak British English. We all have different pronunciations. What we have in common is that our pronunciation is clear and easy to understand. So let's work on that. My third and final piece of advice is learn to be storytellers. If you'll notice, the movies that we chose as our winners told a story. Either they introduced something, a uh, place, by going there and introducing us to the people, or they made up a new story. As human beings, we learn, or I'm sorry, we use language. And one of the gifts of language is that it gives us the ability to use our imagination and tell stories. People understand stories and people remember stories. So as you move forward in your future, I hope you will take this advice, learn to tell stories, work on pronunciation, and think outside the box. And finally, I hope to meet you and see you in person someday here at Hoxha University. Bye-bye. Once again, uh, congratulations to all the five winning teams. Also, thank you again to all of the students who participated in this event. Uh, even the videos that didn't win a prize were very interesting to watch, and I'm sure that you learned something as you were making the videos. I'd also like to thank again the judges. Uh, thank you for your help and all your expertise.
And finally, I'd like to give a special thanks to the staff of the Hokusei International Office. They're the ones that handled all the little practical details that are necessary to hold an event like this. They contacted the schools about our event. They accepted all the student applications. They helped set up the Moodle site and on and on and on. Uh, it's due to their really good teamwork that this event went so smoothly. Finally, I'd like to end <coughs> this award ceremony with two general comments to all of the high school students. First of all, uh, please keep studying English and other foreign languages. Studying a foreign language is a really good academic skill. Studying foreign languages broadens your knowledge and helps you think about the whole world and not just your one country. And also, <coughs> being able to speak a foreign language to someone from a foreign country in their language is really fun. <coughs> Second, I hope you remember how much time and effort you put into creating these videos. <coughs> Probably you thought for days, maybe weeks. You planned, you practiced, and you filmed a three-minute video. We did all that work <coughs> just for a three-minute video, but you created something really good. A lot of things in life are like this. It takes a lot of time and effort to do something really well, but if you put in the time, and if you try hard, <laughs> you can create something really good, something that other people will enjoy, and something that you can feel proud of. So, Whenever you're doing something important in life, keep that goal in mind and really work hard to make the goal come true. With those thoughts, I'd like to end this award ceremony for English Camp in Hokusei Online 2020. Keep studying English. If you have the chance to go overseas, please take it. And good luck to all of you in whatever the future brings.